Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to configure VLAN-based rate limiting. There are two types of rate limiting, interface-based and flow-based rate limiting. Flow-based rate limiting is MQC-based traffic policing. MQC can be used to provide different rate limiting methods, for example, rate limiting based on VLAN IDs and IP subnets. Now let's see VLAN-based rate limiting. VLAN-based rate limiting traffic classifiers are configured based on VLAN IDs and different car values are configured so that the device allocates different bandwidths to service flows. Traffic policing needs to be configured on the switch to police packets of different services so that traffic is limited within a proper range and the bandwidth of each service is guaranteed. Voice, video, and data services are transmitted in VLAN 120 VLAN 110 and VLAN 100, respectively. To meet the requirements, configure VLAN-based rate limiting. Let's see the configuration roadmap and procedure. There are four steps in total. Step 1. Configure three traffic classifiers on the switch to classify different service flows from the enterprise based on VLAN IDs. Step 2. Configure traffic behaviors on the switch to police service flows from different VLANs configure the CIR and PIR, and configure traffic statistics. Step 3. Configure a traffic policy and bind the traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors to the traffic policy. Step 4. Apply the traffic policy to the interface on the switch connected to the enterprise in the inbound direction. The modular switch is used as an example to describe how to configure VLAN-based rate limiting. Configure traffic classifiers to classify different service flows based on VLAN IDs. Configure traffic classifier C1 to match packets from VLAN 120, that is, voice packets. Configure traffic classifier C2 to match packets from VLAN 110, that is, video packets. Configure traffic classifier C3 to match packets from VLAN 100, that is, data packets. Configure traffic behaviors to limit the rate of different types of packets and enable the traffic statistics function. Create traffic behavior B1 and set the CIR to 2000 kilobits per second and PIR to 10,000 kilobits per second. When the average rate of packets exceeds the PIR, packets are lost. Configure statistics enable to enable the traffic statistics function and exit from the traffic behavior view. The configurations of traffic behaviors B2 and B3 are similar to the configuration of traffic behavior B1. After traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors are configured, create a traffic policy and bind the traffic classifiers and traffic behaviors to the traffic policy. Create traffic policy P1 and bind traffic classifier C1 to traffic behavior B1, traffic classifier C2 to traffic behavior B2, and traffic classifier C3 to traffic behavior B3. Enter the view of GE401 of the switch connected to the enterprise and apply the traffic policy in the inbound direction. The configuration of VLAN-based rate limiting is complete. After the configuration is complete, run the display traffic policy statistics command to check traffic statistics on the interface where a traffic policy has been applied. Matched indicates the number of packets and bytes that match the traffic classification rule. Passed indicates the numbers of forwarded packets and bytes that match the traffic classification rule. Dropped indicates the number of dropped packets and bytes that match the traffic classification rule. 
The drop packets include the filtered packets, packets failing to pass the URPF check, and packets dropped by car. Car indicates the number of packets and bytes dropped by car, that is, the number of packets and bytes dropped after MQC-based traffic policing is configured. Packet statistics have been collected after the previous statistics were cleared last time. If the number of bytes displays dash, byte-based statistics collection is not supported. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.